Hi, I'm Andi, and this is my story. You're stupid. I guess I shouldn't say that. Cause I'm a woman. Supposed to have your back. Didn't somebody say, it doesn't matter where you come from, it's where you're headed? <laughs> I just don't agree with that. I grew up in the Bay Area. Very rich, culturally diverse. All the styles just come together, like fusion cuisine. So I love R&B, gospel. I grew up singing in the church. Um, pop and rock and jazz. All that comes together in this stew, and I spew it forth. Close your legs, open your mind. So what is my sound or my style? Um, I think alternative soul is what I am. It's a blend of R&B and rock and gospel and jazz. The story of how the term or phrase alternative soul was born. It was born in a little coffee house down on Division Street. This blind man heard me singing, I have a dream, yeah, yeah, yeah. a dream of love. And he said, girl, you're alternative soul. And that meant a lot to me because that defined my style without him being prejudiced by what I look like or my gimmick or, or sound. He was just really you know, coming to it from the heart and a pure perspective of sound and, and vibe. So it was really cool. Alternative soul. That's me. So where am I now? I live in Nashville, Tennessee. I've been here about seven years and I love it. Pursuing, you know, the singer, songwriter, artist kind of deal. Um, I came from the Bay Area, uh, like I mentioned, about seven years ago. And why I came here was because this is a songwriter's town. And people really respect the craft and honor songwriting. Um, if you go to a listening room, people are just sitting there waiting to hear, you know, this original stuff that comes from these writers. It's a really exciting place to be. Since moving to Nashville, I've had a lot more time to devote to the craft and honing songwriting and working on it, collaborating with others. This new album features 12 original songs, 10 of which I've composed on the piano. Two, um, my father wrote the music and I wrote the lyrics and um, I've been singing them since I moved here and finally got them down on a CD, so I'm excited about them, getting out into the universe. Performing live rocks. I love to perform live. Studio works, it's, you know, it's okay. Um, it's too scientific, it's too methodical. But live performing, you know, I get down. I love to, to rock out and um, seeing people sing the lyrics along with me of my songs, that's so awesome. And I just enjoy performing. It's great, it's in my blood. Um, it's hard for me to sit down a little stool and do a writer's thing because I'd rather be, you know, communicating to the people, talking with the people and out there rocking out. So come see one of my shows. <laughs> I would like to be able to mix singing, songwriting, art, all into one big package. And I don't exactly know how that's going to happen or, you know, but when it does, I'll let you know. We were going to talk about art. When did I start painting? About 10 months ago. It was right after my CD release party at 3rd and Lindsley. Um, we had a killer show and I was just on a high. It was so intense and the adrenaline was going and going. Out of, what is that saying? Mother is the necessity. <laughs> what is that? Necessity is the mother of invention. I knew I'd get it. And so we moved into our new place and we had no artwork on the walls. So um, I got some canvas and I was 
on such a high from my CD release party, I thought I could conquer or do anything. So I was inspired and excited and got some brushes and started painting. I have not stopped since. Sometimes I do a marathon and paint five pieces in a day. And so um, I've sold some things and people seem to appreciate it and it is a wonderful new chapter in my life of my art experience. So paint and canvas is important to me. Um, when did the dream to be a singer mm, get a hold of me? Probably as a little girl I just knew I was always going to be a singer.